When I got that picture, and I hope all of you in some way, will, I hope most of you have seen it and those of you who haven't, do look at it. All I could think about, I didn't know what happened to whoever was supposed to be in the seat next to that hole in the airplane. I got kids, I got grandkids, and so do you. This stuff matters. Everything matters. Every detail matters. I know I'm preaching to the choir here. This isn't a lecture, not by any stretch. It's nothing more than a reminder of the seriousness with which we have to approach our work. Huge thanks and compliments to the Alaskan Air Team that flew the airplane, number one, pilots and crew, who got that airplane back on the ground at a very tumultuous moment in very scary circumstance. They trained their lives to do that, but you don't know till you know. I hope most never know. But this crew, they stood the test and they delivered the airplane back home to us. Alaskan Air leadership. I know firsthand how hard it is for leadership teams to ground airplanes, much less ground fleets. And they had to ground every one of the airplanes that had this configuration in their world. And they did it quickly. And that prevented potentially another accident or another moment. We have to know that. So my thanks to this Alaskan Air Team, and I believe almost all of our airline customers, they train for these moments and they execute well against this. And it's one of the reasons our industry is as safe uh, as it can be. Um, transparency. Let me talk a little bit about what I did today and what I'll keep doing. The members of our team that are with us today uh, we're going to approach this, number one, acknowledging our mistake. We are going to approach it with 100% and complete transparency every step of the way. We're going to work with the NTSB, who is investigating the accident itself to find out what the root cause is. I have a long experience with this group. They're as good as it gets. I trust every step they'll take, and they will get to a conclusion. The FAA, who has to now deal with the airline customers who want their airplanes back in service safely and to make sure all the procedures are put in place, inspections, all the readiness actions that are required to ensure every next airplane that moves into the sky is in fact safe and that this event can never happen again. Um, we have a communications task with all of our customers. Moments like this shake them to the bone, just like it shook me to the bone. They have confidence in all of us. They do. And they will again. But we're going to have to demonstrate it by our actions, our willingness to work directly and transparently with them, and to make sure they understand that every airplane that Boeing has its name on that's in this sky is, in fact, safe. And we will see our way through to that. But we, get, we need to know we're starting from a very anxious moment with our customers. And we, we simply have to, have to deal with that reality. So it's going to be a lot about transparency and others. Now, I also want to tell you about how we as a company have governed this process. Um, Mike Delaney is going to stand up here and give you the factual description of what's happened. Mike is our chief safety officer. When we have an accident or a moment that suggests there's a safety issue of any kind in any fleet, the fleet then belongs to Mike. Mike and his team are the only people in our company that can give the go-ahead to move airplanes back into the air. Make sure everybody's clear about that. That is the way we're organized. That is the way the chief safety officers position is is exacted to take. 